Hey there, welcome back. In this video, I want to talk to you a little bit about rosining the bow. In particular, I'm going to be talking about POPs base rosin. That's the rosin that I use and is probably the most commonly used base rosin, although there are plenty of others out there and there are some people that don't like it very much, but there's a lot of really great players use the POPs base rosin and that's the one that I'm going to talk to you about today. Uh, this here is the POPs base rosin. It comes in a little red can like this. Let me get the camera to zoom in right here so you can see. POPs base rosin. Okay. When you get your rosin, you're going to take it out of the can here, and it's really important that this rosin always stays in the can and that the can stays closed. It's very soft, and particularly if it's warm outside, if you leave it laying on its side or something like that, it will flow. And if you leave the can open with it laying on its side, you'll have a big puddle of Pops Base Rosin within a day or two. So you want to be careful that when you're storing it, it's always in its can and closed. When you take it out of the can, you're going to have this you know, golden honey colored cake of rosin wrapped up in a kind of waxed paper. My recommendation is that you peel the paper back, but do not take the paper all the way off the rosin. I know there are some people who like to take the paper off the rosin, but I highly recommend against it. You just peel the paper back to expose the rosin. When you're ready to rosin your bow, you need to get your bow, take hold of the rosin, Start near the frog, down bow to the tip. Start at the frog, down bow to the tip. You're going to need to put a little bit of weight behind it. I don't know if you see in the camera that I am bearing into the bow a little bit. Down bow to the tip. Three swipes for me at this point is probably plenty. It is very, very sticky stuff and you don't want to overuse it. Most of the time when people have trouble with pops rosin, it's because there's too much only enough two or three strokes is fine sometimes depending on the music that i'm playing i'll give an extra stroke or two right here in this region of the bow since so much of the playing that we do happens right in here particularly for forte pieces or pieces that move pretty fast you're using this part of the bow and it might need a little bit of extra bite how do you know if you have enough you can't look at it and tell you have to feel it. So you do a few wipes of rosin on the bow, you put the bow on the string, play a couple of notes. You should be able to feel the bow grabbing the string, and if you could zoom the camera in right on the bow where it meets the string, you can see that the bow here is pretty sticky. I've got a little bit of weight in the bow and I can move the string back and forth without really making any noise. And when I'm ready to, That's how I know when I have enough. It's all in my fingers and it's when I feel the right amount of grab and it releases when I want it to. If you use too much, then it'll be kind of like that. It'll get stuck and it won't bow smoothly. If there's not enough, you won't get this grab. Um, sometimes, and this is just for me with my students at my uh, school, we don't go this far, but for myself, and for my private students, sometimes I will mix Pops Rosin and a harder rosin. I particularly like this one. This is Heidersign Base Rosin number three. It comes in three different formulations. I like number three, which is the hardest of the rosins. Pops is a very soft rosin, and the Heidersign number three is a very hard rosin. And if I pull this out again, it's a, a honey colored type of rosin. And what I'll do is just on days when the pops just seems a little bit too sticky, again, down bow, down bow, down bow. I'll mix in a little bit of the hider sign and I'll just do a little pops, a little hider sign back and forth until it just feels right under my fingers. And that's the, the only way I have to know is just by rosining, testing, rosining, testing until it feels right to me. Now, I want to go over one other thing that happens, I have an old cake of Pops Rosin here, and on this one, somebody did, and this is something that happens at school all the time, some kid, not knowing me any better, will take the paper off of the rosin. 
and we'll get the camera zoomed in here and you know how I told you to not take the paper off and how it will flow. This rosin is not going to come out of this can. It's stuck. What do I do? Okay, this is how you get the Pops rosin back out of the can. And I'm going over this because this question comes up so often. When this happens, someone takes the paper all the way off, it flows down and gets stuck in the can. Here we go. You're gonna squeeze this direction, you're gonna turn it, you're gonna squeeze this direction. The Pops is actually moving under my fingers. I can actually squish it around. And now, give it a little pop here. And it should almost come right out. You may have to work it a little bit. I'm working this one a little bit. Squeeze it one way, squeeze the other. See the best laid plans. This is why I don't like to take the paper off because it gets in there, it gets stuck. You've got to work the rosin. There it goes. And here it is back out of the can. So if someone takes the paper off and it gets stuck, you can see you can get it back out, but it might take a little bit of working. Once you've done this, if you want to, you can take a little bit of wax paper just from the kitchen and make a new paper cup for it out of wax paper, and then you don't have that problem anymore. One word to close out about why always a down bow when you rosin. I've never had this happen to me, but I have had several people tell me that this will happen as the pops is very sticky and sometimes the bow will get a little bit stuck as you pull it across the rosin. If you start at the tip and push up bow and you're putting too much pressure in it, sometimes the wooden plug that's holding the hair in near the tip actually can be pulled out by the friction against the pops rosin. The hold of the bow hair is much stronger down by the frog so always down bows when you rosin your bow. So I hope this has been helpful to you. If you did find this helpful, uh, if you learned something new from it, please remember to like the video and leave me a comment. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you.